So for today, we got something real special planned for potion creating. I guess not real special. I think so, honestly. I think this is a good one. Check it out. We're going to be creating an orange, I guess, orange, mm, an orange float. Mm, let me think of a better name for this. Hey, what should we call this? What should we call this? Mm. Oh, an orange strawberry dough flow saying that five times fast orange strawberry dough flow orange strawberry dough flow orange strawberry dough flow <laughs> it's doable anyways that's what we're gonna be making today cream here we got some let's see where is this from uh live bunny i think that's a blue bunny in the commercials honestly i'm not sure it might not be because i think they make different ice cream but i'm not sure loaded sundays so soft so loaded which that's true these are really soft sundays they're good too the thing about these you can uh put back on the cat and you know eat half now eat half later that's what we're going to be basically doing using half of this because honestly i think these toppings the strawberry toppings i'm actually not a big fan of the pink ones i'm not sure unless if they change them made them sweeter it's only one way to find out. Hmm. No, they still got a little bit of tart flavor to them, which I don't really like. In fact, I'm probably going to be picking them. Mm, now I'll leave them in there because it's like a stra strawberry tart flavor, so it works. Cup, I took a bit, bite out of one spoonful, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> That's how I'm add the cookie dough. I know I like the toppings for this one, but just to make sure I like them. Mmm. Really sugary. Like a chocolate chip, but that's been fattened up. I love it. That's good. Oops. Drop right in the bowl. So, we got the half cookie dough, and then half Sunday one. Both from the same place. There you go. Fills up half the bowl. Nice. I think that's good enough, honestly. Because I don't know if this is going to be good or not, honestly. I was thinking, why not just mix the uh, ice creams up, get a new ice cream flavor? But then I was like, no. We need an orange flow. I, I realize this is this Fanta orange. It works just like root beer flow with the vanilla ice cream. But of course it don't taste like root beer float, it tastes like orange float. There we have it, our orange float. All right, now it's time for the taste test. Try and get a bite of both, like right on top here. I got some of the, oh no, I lost the strawberry sauce. I don't have a strawberry topping up here. I can't find it in this orange flow. It looks pretty awesome. Like it's getting more thicker the longer it sits. But yeah, let's give this a try. Mm. That tastes like a sherbet flow. And the cookie gel, I don't go that bad with it. Try some of this float cream. Mm hmm. That's awesome. It tastes just like orange fanta. Honestly, no, it tastes even. It tastes different than orange fanta. It tastes like um, orange cream soda. The, just the foam alone. Some of this strawberry alone. Mm. I think it might sound good. I think I just got the rest of the ice cream and honestly, this was awesome. Already, 10 out of 10. Now, the reason why I did this, kind of because we're gonna have to work with the soda that not really one of my most go to choices because it's a sparkling water soda. 
I don't even know if you call it soda. I don't, I don't think they call it themselves soda. That's why. I don't know why. Mm. Oh yeah, that bite was mostly cookie dough, a little bit of strawberry. Mm. Has an interesting flavor. A good flavor for sure. Mm -mm. The awesome flavor. For sure, give this a try. What you need? Some strawberry. Well, it's Sunday. Some of that. So, take your loaded strawberry sundae or strawberry shortcake. There we go. That's what it's called. Loaded sundaes. The strawberry shortcake one. Put that in a bowl. Depending on the size of bowl, you know, you might have to use half of it only because it's a small bowl. If you got a big enough bowl, you can use all of it. Either way, it don't matter still works no matter how much proportions you use of what which honestly though I don't want I don't think it'd be that I don't think it's that good if you overdo the soda then you get some cookie dough cookie dough co it's called from loaded Sundays put that in the bowl wow. Make sure you get all the sauce with it. That good stuff. Yum, yum, yum. I'm actually going to take a bite. This, set, this part I'm going to sacrifice. Don't do that. That might ruin your meal. Every bite helps the meal. But me, I'm hungry right now. sauce it's not a chocolate sauce it's like a cookie dough sauce so awesome anything left in here no the strawberry what's pretty easy to scoop out cookie dough sauce not so easy let's get this and while you think it's over you throw some orange font at it not too much just enough to get it because it does mix in pretty quickly and even a little bit is like a lot so keep that in mind you do want enough to make it like a little foam on the side that way you can watch a foam turn oof look at that and there you have it your orange strawberry dough float right or orange dough strawberry float now I like the first one orange strawberry dough float let's, let's look at that just sitting here watching it. Now, the next day. Oh crap, yeah, that's right, it's the next day. Yeah, that meal you all saw me eat it in the first scene, it actually made me pass out, I'm not gonna lie. Like, as I was eating it, I had like three to four bites left. I couldn't even finish it because I was passing out. I was having some kind of sugar rush high downfall or something, I don't know what it was. It was like the itis, honestly, like you seen in the boondocks when people eat too much greasy and fat fatty food at once on one setting they start to get tired and basically like how you feel after Thanksgiving party that's how that meal made me feel I had to pass out take a nap for those saying you know uh, potion creating they should you know such a bad name for this series this and that trying to down say my series let that be a lesson because if I had diabetes that meal would have probably killed me. Okay? The, we ain't we don't play around here. That's what I'm trying to say. Now let's get back into the potion crate. We are we are actually gonna create a new soda just like we do with every episode. I just wanted to start off with a little special treat. Literally. Some LaCroix for today's potion creating. We got some uh, lemonade 
that's right, lemon, or lemon, yeah, lemon, LaCroix, LaCroix, I'm saying that right, and orange LaCroix, and then with it, behind it, we got some lemon lime soda Sprite, and some Fanta orange, yeah, we're gonna be making these Sprite, or whatever, I don't know the name, of. probably wondering, well, if you don't like LaCroix, or sparkling water, really, I say I didn't like LaCroix, I just didn't like sparkling water, that's the thing, all sparkling water to me has this too tart of a taste honestly and not enough sugar for me it really isn't so hopefully our potion here will help it you know make me enjoy it you're probably wondering though what made you think of using this soda well it's because the youtuber um man my parents did something to make this thing so dirty luckily it's on the outside but it looks like uh, on the inside anyways uh, this YouTuber that you all probably know, I for sure know, by the name of Shane Dawson. That YouTuber, since this is their favorite soda, somehow, I don't even consider sparkling water a soda, honestly. But, yeah, they, they enjoy this stuff. They like most of the flavors, and honestly, I think it's like, uh, only three people I know that like this soda. Shane Dawson being one of them. Once, oh, by the way, we just hit 400 subscribers today. Heck yeah for that. Thank you all for hitting that subscribe button. Now let's get on. So since this is sparkling water, I don't like sparkling water. I'm just going to be adding one fourth. Yeah, I think that's fair. Oop. Wait a second. Try this. Some ASMR. So this is the orange, we're going to start off at the bottom with the LaCroix sparkling water. Because like I said, I really do not enjoy sparkling water taste. Well that smells pretty good, actually I haven't, I tried the lemon one, and I didn't like the lemon. But let's try the orange one real quick, maybe I like it. Mm -mm. Oh. Why do you like that tart flavor, it's like eating plastic, or drinking plastic. I don't think our sodas are going to be able to make this better. I don't know, it might, we might, honestly, we might have a whole new taste here. That's what I think. So one fourth of a cup of orange LaCroix sparkling water. Okay. One fourth of a cup of lemon LaCroix sparkling water. I bet it looks like the same color too. Yep. Looks like the same clear color. It basically looks like water with um, carbonation in it. To me, that's how it tastes. That's what it looks like. The orange and the yellow. The lemon and the orange, I mean. They both look the same color. That tells you. But when you smell them, holy crap, it smells so good. But then you taste it. It tastes like water, carbonated water. It don't taste good at all. The smell is awesome though. Like it smells straight up just like it says. Like the orange one smells like oranges. The lemon smells like lemon. Honestly, lemon scent. You mix them together. I thought it was changing color. I thought I saw an orange going on. I was like, hold on a second. <laughs> like what's going on? Mix them together. It smells like lemon orange now. Alright. Now it's getting that good stuff. Some... Let's spray it. It's not let's spray it. It's just spray it. Let's see. Um, we need these to be super strong in flavor because that's the only way I'll be able to drink this. Um, I'll go with one half a cup. Mm. Yeah, I guess one half a cup. Or should I go two third a cup? We'll do two third of a cup. Like I said, I need this uh, to be strong flavor. You hear the difference? That's what good stuff sounds like. It sounds like it's bubbling. Listen. That's what good stuff sounds like. Ooh, it has that LaCroix. No, it smells like... I, don't, I think they, like, do some spray scent or something in there, because that's what it feels like I just drink, honestly. 
feels like I drank some poison. Hopefully, this Sprite, this three-fourths, three-fourths of cup of Sprite will help soda it down. Because I keep thinking I see the change in color, but it's just, it's clear color. <laughs> I don't know, my eyes are playing tricks on me. Okay, now we're gonna get, let's see here. Two thirds of a cup, Fanta Orange. Honestly, with Fanta Orange, it's too tart, too, like it's too tart for me to enjoy. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I can enjoy, if it's the only soda that we got, and I need me a soda, I'll drink some Fonta Orange, no problem, at all. But if it's like, you got some Fonta Orange and Sprite, and I accidentally took the Fonta Orange for some reason over the Sprite, I'm going to sit there and drink it like, I don't know why people enjoy this. Okay. Add that Fonta Orange, add that Fonta Orange. Let's see, what should we call this? Um, sparkling orange. Sparkling orange. There we go, sparkling orange. Now hopefully, it don't have that sparkling water taste. But still, it should have a little bit of it. I don't know. I don't know what we're going to have a flavor of, honestly. I'm a little bit nervous. What the, like I said, when I drink these things, it feels like they like sprayed some... Oh, let's say some perfume that make this smell and then they mix up some just carbonated water so I don't know what it's going to taste like hold on hold on that's it ooh almost the aftertaste there's a little bit of an aftertaste why why do we have to have an aftertaste <laughs> man it was so good it tasted like um cotton candy like blue blue cotton candy on my tongue in my tongue right now I taste candy I'm not lying but there's just this little aftertaste that like ugh, that sparkling water taste if you like sparkling water you like it but if you don't like sparkling water like me you won't like it but that flavor man hold on Sparkling drops. Sparkling drops. Sparkling drops. I'm thinking of like candy drops. That's why. I want to give it a candy name now because it tastes like candy. Okay. That's good. I like this holy crap I knew it I knew it because it was like I it's I really don't enjoy the sparkling water taste but I think I could get down with it if it had a better flavor to it for example font orange and sprite mixed that's not bad honestly 9 out of 10 9 out of 10, that's how good it is. You have to mix up the flavors just as I did if you want the same result. So you add a little bit too much of the LaCroix or a little bit too less of the Sprite or Fonts or a little bit too much of or less either or, you know, you're not going to get the same flavor as I just got here with Sparkling Orange. We'll keep the name Sparkling Orange. That's a cool name. But um, so you take two third cup of Sprite you want then you want two-thirds of a cup of Fanta orange and two-thirds of a cup that's like close to the top see we need that stuff like a lot and then we took the orange LaCroix and we did we did one-third of a cup so that's down here that's down there see we had this much of spot the sprite and orange Fanta I'm almost calling them a different name. And then um, we only had this much of the LaCroix. Why? Because I couldn't really stand. If I liked sparkling water 
more then I'd probably add just a little bit more but honestly eh. you get that's the best way to get your flavor and then the lemon LaCroix wait what's his name lemon sill lemon Celio. oh you all can't even see it because of the shine there it is lemon Celio. we did a one third of a cup so it's two LaCroix small cups and the I think the good I think the the reason why it mixed so well and tastes like candy is because look this is how I got the idea to mix them when I was looking at them at first I was like okay I wanted to mix something with LaCroix I just don't know what when I saw the pops I bought together I'm like holy crap they're already mixing like subconsciously I thought of this lemon LaCroix and Sprite and then Fanta Orange and orange you see I, it was all in the cart I looked down at it I'm like holy crap I put that in the cart without even thinking about it and we got all this potion creating episode right there 9 out of 10 that was good sadly I'm gonna have to waste these two LaCroix because I really don't enjoy them that much I just I can't drink them But this, this I can't. Oof, that's good. It sure does make you burp a lot, though. I guess that's what sparkling water does. Honestly, I heard about that, but I never believed it because I could never drink enough sparkling water to see it make me burp like now because I couldn't stand the flavor. <laughs> but now I can. So, yeah, sparkling water. If you want to get more soda drinkers to try out your sparkling water, or maybe you can make like a lighter soda or something. This sparkling water you got now, for us soda drinkers, it's way too light. We need something heavier. What do you take us for? A lightweight? <laughs> Here you go, champions. This is for you. Peace out. Stay awesome. Stuck around this long in the video. I'll let you have a little glimpse of what we're going to have next in the potion creating series sugar something sugary thought about it i'm not gonna get any younger i'm gonna get older and after having that one meal at the beginning of this video how it made me pass out from all the sugar i realized i want something to drink that make me feel that sugar high not the sugar fall they get after it like we had with that meal but the climb gets that sugar high again so that's what we're going to be doing. Some sugary drinks mixed together for the next potion creation. Stay tuned.